Hello, and welcome back to the cove with more Surviving Mars. Alright, so, we need to quickly fill in this little space here. So, I've told these little drones to come back, and we'll do that manually. However, I just noticed we have a little bit of an issue with our water production. And, oh dear, not again. I... And I need to create a new waste rock. Uh, waste form, small rock, no. Where is it? Infrastructure. I could have sworn it was somewhere around. Storages? Ah, there we are. Large dumping site. Right, that's what we needed. Alright, well, we'll pop you... We'll put you together? Yeah. Either way. We'll place you on this side, just for access-wise. Alright, so that should fix that. And now... Should probably go down just a little bit slower. Alright. Now... Let's go regular speed, thank you. We want to... Drones, move. Give command to repair, yes. So, I want you to repair. I want you to pick up... Where are some metals? Oops. No. Stay there. Do we have metals here? Okay, so we have a couple of metals. Right. I want you to... Command or move the drones? Yes. So we're going to pick you. And we're going to click you here. Ah. Okay, maybe it's not as easy as I thought. It shouldn't be too complicated now. Right, fine. Maybe we need to make some depots for everything now. So I think we're going to make a metal deposit on next to our metals factory. I think we're going to make a depot for our... Well, we have one for our concrete, but you know what? We may as well go for a second one. Just uh, make sure... Yep, yeah. and then we shall go for a depot for our polymers. We'll place that near the polymer factory, and we can do a machine parts depot. We'll put that near the dome with the rest of the things. Yeah, that seems like a reasonable spot. Anything else? Fuel. You know what, we don't really need any more at this stage. Alright, so now that we've got that sorted... Uh, how is that going? Alright, so that's up and running. That's good. That's all working. And now, if we can... Uh, we should probably tell them... Anomaly ...don't analyzed. have any more metals here. Yeah, I think it's time we retired... ...the... Uh, ...universal depot. Yep. I think that makes the most sense. Uh, we might leave electronics there for now. Alright, sweet. So, science-wise, where are we at? Arm automation? Alright, so we need a little bit more for that. Then, uh, yeah, apart from that, we now just need to keep on working on our sciencey things and see how we're going. Right, so we have a few understaffed buildings which are not, you know, it's not particularly good. That will mean that needs are going, yeah, needs are being missed out upon. But we do have almost two full classes. So that'll give us a bunch of officers, scientists, a couple of medics, geologists, engineers, and botanists. That is awesome. Okay, that is very good. We're going to see a very hefty spike. Sector scanned. Alright, come on. And you know what? We probably need our RC transport to be collecting materials. So, there's. We could probably work our way down everything. Or maybe we just do what's nearby. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what? That's a. Uh... May as well grab those metals. There are. 
23, I think that's about all. There's some there. You know what? Can he pick up both of them? No. Alright, well. Go on, little rover buddy. Do your thing. Drop your back at base. That's all that matters. Actually, you know what? If we have any an excess of anything, it's probably regular metals. So maybe we should allow that to just on the off chance. Um, hmm. Attempt to stockpile at least three resources here. Uh, we'll just we'll just take that if necessary. All right. Now we're going to fit in a little bit of metal. So going to go here. Actually, you know what? We probably... Move, interact. Yeah, that's what we want to do. You know what? Target. No? Target that. Does that do anything? If not, we're just going to click on one of the drones and see if we can make them do a thing. Alright, deploy the drones. That'll do. Alright, so... Alright, let's just pause for a second. Little drone. Not receiving commands. Drone commander is not working. Okay, so you're carrying nothing. No particular destination. Alright, I want you to gather a resource. Go and do that. You can do it, little buddy. Pick up. Resources are low. Hey, and now I want you to deliver. Alright, well, that's fine. We will do what we need to do. Alright, so our machine parts are... Actually, oh, did we get... Please tell me the university finished. No, but we do have one person working there, so we are making a little bit of, a little bit of, all right, so that's, that should be a concern, all right, and what's this, ah, uh, of course, okay, fine, uh, let's get one with a good battery, pick up a resource, go on little guy, speed on up, Actually, we probably should get the research for that, and we will deliver you here. Yep. Alright, well, we'll do what we have to. After this, we're going to need two machine parts. That's okay, we will... We will manage that when we have we have more machine parts being produced which should be shortly because we're now going up to three all right a little bit further all right sweet so they're in range they'll do their thing when they need to so now all that we have to do is uh see how we have sorted out our society all right so we have a couple of graduates fantastic thing to see we now have where are they working we have one botanist. Are you the botanist? No, you're a scientist. No, but okay, what on earth is going on? Okay, you know what? Sanity breakdown. All right, let's have a look. The Luddite vibe. A colonist has gone mad. Donning a spacesuit, the unstable individual has occupied one of our drone hubs, threatening to destroy it. Transmitting a video stream from inside the building, the angry colonist screams, I can't take it anymore. Machines. Machines. Only bloody senseless soulless machines. I will destroy all of them. All of them. Then all of a sudden, the red lights alert. The, the red alert lights flash. Marlin has set fire. Has, sorry, has set the building to self-destruct. Oh dear. Ah. Uh, Hmm. Well, that's a pickle. You know what? I think it's more important 
to save our crazy person. They are a trained security officer. And... Yeah, you know what? I feel like we probably want to keep him around just so we don't take sanity losses to everybody else. Uh, but the hub would be a real jolly pain. Um... Save the colonist, and we will rebuild the other one if we must. Yeah. Alright, well... That sucks. Which one did I lose? Was it this drone hub? Yeah, okay, so that's been... Busted. Alright, well, we may as well repair it, I guess. We can still do that. Uh, actually, you know what? No, maybe we... Maybe we salvage. Yeah, you know what? Maybe we can put that in a better position now that we know where we want to be building things. Yeah, you know what? Let's just clear it. Yeah. That'll do. Right, now, what are these saying? We have... Air supplies, passengers... Actually, we should see if we can deposit. Okay, so we've got 19 out of 20. And we're currently a little bit short on workers. Alright, um, hmm. Oh, this is a pickle. We need somebody to live here. Engineers. There is a botanist. We have a geologist or two. Oh dear, are they all seniors? Uh, senior. We have a middle-aged. Uh, another senior botanist, scientist, geologist. Oh my goodness. We have a huge number of senior citizens. Hmm. Well, at this rate, we're going to have... Hmm. Yeah, we're probably going to hit a little bit of a uh, lull if we don't start getting more, um, more babies being born. Um, you know what? The perks could be nice, but I don't think that'll be our most important. I think we need to go for, yeah, increase the birth rate of the domes. I think that would be best. Yeah, as, as good as that would be. Yeah, I think, I think that will be our... Oh, and it's 10,000 too. Oh, good grief. Alright, well, we'll pick you up. And we'll do you after the core rare metals. Then, uh... See where we're heading. Yeah, that's... I think that's all we can really do right now. Alright. Have we got Sending any other... Scanned. Oh, we have a new anomaly. Okay, well that's good. Explorer. Go right ahead and pick you up. And let's just get the rest of... You know what, maybe we go for... Should we start working our way up to the top of the hill? Now let's just finish off what we've got. Then we'll... Then we'll head up. Alright, how's our transport doing? Our transport is good. Let's... Oh, well, we have plenty here, so let's go... Pick up. And you can drop off. Alright. Gotta make sure that they're doing their thing. Alright, now we would definitely need more metals. So, we should probably... What are you doing? You're working in a machine parts factory. Um, you know what? I don't think it matters too much. We will put you over here. Make you live over there. And get you working in there. Yep. That's really important. At least half per soul will be really crucial. And you know what, let's, uh, 
let's overwork you. You're going to get stressed, but if we're going to pay for everything... Oh, actually, we need someone to replace the machine parts factory. Okay, um... Who have we got in there? We have a scientist. Alright, uh, do we have a botanist? No specialization. Do we have a botanist? I could have sworn. Right, bro. Okay. So you know what? We should probably... Ah, right, you're in the university. How long has that got to go? Maybe a little bit. You know what? It's electronics. We have plenty of them. May as well deactivate for now. Save ourselves the maintenance and uh, the hassle. Now this does have somebody here, so we're definitely still going to get food. That's the important thing. Actually, we should probably... Uh, we should probably swap out the potatoes and these cover crops. Yeah, we're not going to need to increase our... Yeah, I think we go to soybeans. So they'll give us, what is that? That's 40 over 5, so that's 8 per day. And that's 8.5 per day. And then that brings us to... 11 per day. You know what, maybe it's actually worthwhile just getting rid of the wheat. But it does only take us two days. Yeah. Well, if we got this second farm up and running, I don't think it would be too much of an issue. Um. Yeah, you know what, I think it is a small inefficiency, but we'll get rid of that and we'll just go straight from soybeans and potatoes. Yeah, and you know what, we should pro yeah, we'll leave that where it is. Alright. Alright, now uh, how much longer do we need to sit on this? So we're probably going to get a couple of botanists. Resources are low. That will be good. Oh dear, machine parts, that's critical. Alright, uh, we're, you know what, we have no renegades. Off with the security station. Uh, probably need... Yeah, the research lab is not the priority right now. And so, speaking of which, we should probably turn that off too. And then, a grosser is important. Amphitheater is good for sanity. Diner, yep, okay, so, what we will do... Where are they? They are farm... Senior... So Dino, where are they? They should be. Ah. They're all sort of just meandering around. Alright, um one two. Alright. Inactive work shift, yes I am familiar with that. Um hmm. Well, you know what? We're just going to have to wait Anomaly on that. Analyzed. And I think we should have enough to get us through. We're not sitting on any. But nothing should... Yeah, we'll have it. We have one day's worth. Yeah, we'll, we'll just scrape through. There's more to the barren environs of the Red Planet than meets the All eye. Right. So we have a bunch a of new techs. A treasure trove of undiscovered knowledge and wonder. Yes, it was so long not as the you first time, buddy. But now we have, uh, we have creative realities and nuclear fusion. Ooh. Nuclear fusion could be nice. So that will generate power, fair enough. And that will be a, that'll be a job, I guess. How much do you create? Um, probably a lot of power, so... At any rate, we're going to need the atomic accumulator before the nuclear fusion. That only makes sense. That'll be very nice to have. That should deal with a lot of our future our troubles. 
and uh, much less, uh, yeah, much less of a reliance upon our, I guess, our temperamental things. How long have you got? Come on. Right, let's, uh, let's push open to the next day. How are we going on science? Science-wise, we're sitting on... Just trying to gauge how long this will take. Maybe another... What's that? That was about a fifth or a sixth of a day for a percent. So, yeah. Not great be worse. Um, production per soul, one. Oh, that's good to see. Ah, oh, geologist makes a big difference. Alright, and that means we have one here. Does that mean... No, okay. Not yet. But it will be at some point. Alright, polymers we also probably... Now we can turn you off for now. We don't have anyone working there, so we might as well turn them off, save the power, and make more science. Yeah, 714. Excess power, 114. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, definitely in our best interests. Definitely. Alright, still sitting on crop failures. That was Get never going to be a surprise. Ooh. An anomaly, we will happily pick you up. So, Explorer. You go right ahead, and you know what, transport-wise, you can probably pick up these goods and bring them back to your base. Alright, um, oh, and I misclicked, oh, of course. Anomaly found. Uh, let's just pause for a second. Are there any polymers... Okay, so there's two polymers there. And are there any others? Alright, well, you know what? Let's head straight to the polymers. Uh, is that them? Yes, it is. Alright. Quickly pick you up. And bring you back to base. We've and just found the wreckage of Phobos 2. The old probe even had some new data for us to analyze. Oh, well, that's fancy. So, on July the 7th, 1988, the Soviet Union launched two Proton K rockets carrying the Phobos 1 and Phobos 2 probes on a course to Mars. Of the two craft, only Phobos 2 reached its final destination, but contact with it was lost just before it could deliver its precious payload. Humankind will be forever grateful for the information we salvaged from its computers. So that has now listed several anom anomalies. Sweet. Alright, well that's cool. I guess it makes sense to uh, name something after the moons of Mars. Uh, their two main ones, I believe, is... What's it? It's, uh... Yes, Phobos and Deimos. Or Dimos, but uh, that uh, funny lettering. Alright, so either way, that's cool. Let's get you to scan you, and then we will scan you. Wait, no, what if that's not the buttons I meant to press? Explorer. Scan anomaly. Scan anomaly, and anomaly. Alright, well, hopefully that should give us some good science. And, uh, let us, you know, we should probably remove you. Alright, whatever. There we go. Are you still queued up to do your thing? It's not. Alright, one. Uh, one. RC Explorer, yes, thank you. Alright, fine, we'll do it this way. Scan there. That's analyzing one. Alright, well, do that. And then do that. And we'll do that. Alright, fantastic. Get rid of you. 
Farm doesn't matter. Three days of souls. Yeah, three souls worth of materials. That's okay. We should be able to manage this one way or the other. It's just going to be a little bit dependent upon getting our people educated. Yep. Resources are low. Yes, thank you very much. Alright. How about we go? Oh yes, and because we don't have machine parts, we're not going to finish off our concrete extractor either. Not the end of the world. We don't really need the we don't really need the um, concrete right now. Research complete. Oh, we'll need it. Oh, farm automation. All right, that's good to have. Water consumption by domes reduced by fifty. Yeah, that could be really nice. But not creative realities as well. Yep. Yeah, so that's more VR workshop. I think we're going to want to go for a very simple uh, bonus there, and probably need that more than more people right now. Yep. Okay. Anomaly found. Ooh, we've just confirmed the location of a metal-rich deposit. A drilling accident turned to our advantage. All right, so we lost a drilling probe, I'm trying to uh, analyze this anomaly, and uh, we got a whole bunch of, yeah, I found a new metal deposit. Okay, that's not bad. I think that was the one, yeah, just down here. I think that was it. Resources oh, that's nice. Low. Very high. Yes, again, we know the resources are low. It is a concern, but with any luck, we will be able to persevere. Yes, that is the plan. Come on. Just need a little bit of graduation and then our food should be back on track. Yeah, we still have enough stored up. We should be fine. Five time graduates, 11. Okay, did we just get a bunch of uh, graduates? I feel like we did. How are we going? Okay, so I forgot we have this automation thing too. So that will cost us five. You know what? Uh, yeah, if we're just importing our electronics, that should be fine. But it means if we have better yields, we can sustain a higher population. So well and truly worth it. You know what? Since, uh, what do they require? They require electronics for maintenance. Hmm. Oh no, sorry, that's that, uh... It only consumes water, there's no actual... Yeah. No actual, uh, increase required. So you know what, maybe we... Maybe we get rid of this one. We might be able to survive with one farm for the two locations. Yeah. Well, that could actually be really handy. Then we could open up a school and go put children in this dome and then adults in this dome and do a mix of building them up and working them into uh better Sector people scanned. all right so um oh yeah another anomaly all right well you are probably status is currently doing something so if we so I'm pretty sure it was shift or was it control? Try control. No? Shift. There we are. Okay. So that's underway. Oh, and we have another message. The only place we thought you could find Ice 15 outside of a lab was on an icy planet or a moon. And here we find it on Mars. All right, so mission control, log number 37. Until today, the only place we thought you could find ice, ice 15, outside of a lab was on an icy planet or a moon, and here we find it, on Mars. Ice 15 is a super dense phase of water, which is formed in extremely cold and extremely high pressure environments. It turns out that the liquid Sorry, that the unique geological history of Mars allowed a small quantity of Ice-15 to form under the crust. Even though we didn't confirm any substantial deposits of water, 
this discovery would cause uproar in the scientific communities and draw significant attention to our efforts on the Red Planet. Our sponsors immediately provided us with tools to discover more about the effect of Martian geology on the formation of underground ice. Hey, that's pretty cool. I believe if my uh, scientific understanding is correct, it is the only ice that doesn't actually expand. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty cool. They found that if you freeze water under the under specific conditions, you can actually not have it expand. So, it's exceptionally rare, and I think it's mainly ever been produced in a lab, but theoretically it is plausible, which is uh, kind of nifty and good for future reported. or uh, future space exploration in reality, because it means you can have it as a solid instead of a liquid if we can manage to make it happen. So yeah, that's a fun little fact. Yes, I actually found out about the uh, thing when I was younger, watching a movie from the 80s called The Ice Pirates. Basically, you know, water is a precious resource, all the planets are kind of deserts, and they're pirates, and they take water Research in the form of complete. ice to, um, you know, make their living. Either way, kind of weird, but that's how you learn, I guess. Alright, well, you know what? I think we are in a pretty good position. We have only a handful of residents left in, um, the education space. We have a couple of people there, so you know what? I think we might actually call it here and pick up on the next one with making another research uh, queue and then uh, seeing about maybe uh, organizing our people into a better, better society. All right, so thank you for tuning in to the Leviathan Cove. This is the Leviathan signing out.